Hello and welcome to Money Control. Hi, this is Nikki. Steel is the most commonly used metal in almost everything. Talk about the cars, planes, ships, machineries and buildings to washing machines. You name it and you have it. However, around 75% of steel globally is made in coal fire blast furnace, which pump large amount of carbon dioxide in the entire atmosphere. In this video, I explain what's green steel. But before that, do subscribe to Money Control and don't forget to like the video. What's green steel now? It's a type of steel which is manufactured with the use of fossil fuel, essentially a technique that uses low carbon energy sources such as hydrogen, coal gasification and or electricity. These routes are essentially now replacing the traditional carbon intensive manufacturing routes of coal fire plants. Let's understand why is it the need of the R. Steel industry is among the three biggest producers of carbon dioxide. Iron ore and steel industry put together globally account for around 8% of total CO2 emissions. In India alone, the industry contributes to around 12% of the total CO2 emissions. Now, producers across the globe increasingly are facing a decarbonization challenge. Challenge to reduce their carbon footprint as for the commitment that they've made towards the climate change. India aims to be net zero carbon emission country by 2017. In fact, let's have a look at the Indian manufacturers that have committed towards the reduction of carbon emission. First in the list, you have JSPL, which, is, which aims to be the first steel maker in the world to build coal glassification to produce steel, and it plans to develop it in Norisha plan, which is the largest and the greenest facility in the world. Tara Steel, again, there is a commitment that is made towards switching to green hydrogen-based steel making plant. It aims to reduce CO2 emissions by at least 30% by 2030 and to emit 75% less of CO2 by around 2035. The company now has a Netherlands subsidiary which has a green steel solution. Also in the list, we have JSW Steel. The company has earmarked rupees 10,000 crore to increase the use of renewable energy to replace thermal power and other green initiatives. Last in the list, of course, we have Aslam Mittal Nippon Steel, which is committed to some around 273 crore until now for various environmental initiatives, including a zero liquid discharge systems at its Hazira Steel Complex in Gujarat. That's all that we have for you. Thank you for tuning in.